Hey everybody, Dave Ridley here. Thank you so much for joining me for the amazing Shinsengumi Heroes in Love. We're on Hajime Saito's route, chapter 2, You're So Wet. And I have no idea what to make of that title. <laughs> Guess we'll see what's happening. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Huh? What did you just say? I left my burned down house and went to the Shinsengumi base. I was given a spare room. I'd rested and cleared my head, thinking about what I should do next. I found something I could do, so I asked Hajime for his permission. Let me do the chores around here. Ugh. I can't tell when he's smiling, but I can tell when he's shocked. <laughs> he looks scared. This wasn't the time to be thinking about that, though. Before I knew it, I was thinking about Hajime. I don't. Uh, ask him again. I'll be persistent. As Hajime hesitated to give me an answer, I tried to appeal to him one last time. Please. I feel guilty being here and not helping out. Captain Kondo asked me to take you in. You're like a guest. You don't have to worry about those kind of things. But I don't want to be treated like a child. Hajime's eyes opened wide after hearing my outburst. Ugh. I feel so guilty about being here and not doing anything to help. Hajime raised both eyebrows and let out a sigh. Now he looks depressed. Can I have any good impacts on him? I just can't win against you. Then you're okay with it? Yes. Thank you so much, Hajime. No, we should be the ones thanking you. Huh? What do you mean? Hajime smiled awkwardly. He couldn't give me an answer. I soon learned why, though. Hey, you guys. If you're already exhausted, you're a disgrace to the Shinsengumi. Yes, sir. Great. Put your backs into it. Yeah. In order to improve their skills, the soldiers practiced with wooden swords every day. The practice didn't look like it was for discipline. It looked very painful. I could hear the swords clashing and the soldiers' screams. The intense practice kicked the sand up. Everyone's clothes were dirty. I flinched as I watched the soldiers. I wanted to look away many times. If I was going to continue living here, I needed to get used to such things. Hey, Chizuru. I looked up and saw Sonosuke holding a large quantity of clothes. Whoa, that's a lot of laundry. Yeah, it is. Can I give it to you? Of course. Thank you for carrying it all the way over to me. I thanked him and looked down at my hands. There was a huge pile of laundry that I hadn't finished doing this morning. This is a lot more work than I had imagined. I seriously understood why Hajime thanked me. While I was thinking about those things, Sonosuke suddenly sat next to me. Hey, when you're done with the laundry, why don't we go somewhere together? Uh, I'm sorry, Sonosuke, we already did your route, so I'm going to have to say... Decline by saying you still have work to do. I haven't finished working, so sorry. Yeah, you just bought me more laundry, I have to clean it. Oh, that's disappointing. Alright, let's do it another time. It's a promise. I made no such promise. By the way, how is living with Hajime? It's very normal. Then again, I've only been here for one day. Hajime had no problems with me living there with him. I was a little worried because it was so quiet there. In my opinion, enduring even one day is good enough. If you're ever bored, come to my place, okay? Sonosuke smiled as if he had nothing to worry about. He came closer to me. I'm not bored, don't worry. I take pleasure in observing Hajime's behavior. Oh, really? But you still don't know me very well, right? Well, well that's true. He's getting a little too close. Sonosuke was so close, it felt like our noses were about to touch. I became more anxious as he got closer. I would have been so happy if you chose to come to my place. We already did. Sonosuke's finger was about to touch my bangs. Um, Sonosuke. When Sonosuke was about to touch me, Hajime was suddenly standing next to him. Vice Captain Hijikata is looking for you. Oh, crap. He found out I skipped out on practice. Sonosuke took his finger back and rushed toward the practice grounds. I, I was so surprised. I breathed a sigh of relief. Hajime was standing there with a blank expression. I couldn't decide if he was deep in thought or not. I shall speak to him. Hajime, are you thinking about something? No. 
Hajime kept his expression blank before shaking his head. Our conversation had stopped. What conversation? After a while, I heard a voice from above. Can I help you with anything? Huh? But aren't you tired from practice? It's not a problem. He sounded uninterested. I couldn't tell what his motive was, so I was flustered. Is something wrong? N no. Hajime didn't have any ill will, but I wasn't used to talking to him. Then again, this was my job, and I should be doing it by myself. I decided to tell him that. Thank you for offering help, but it's alright. I can do it by myself. I bowed my head and continued working. Oh, the water ran out. I stood up to get some more water. And I guess that's where we're going to have some incident where we're going to be all wet. For some reason, Hajime silently followed me from behind. Uh, <laughs> awkward. What's with the silence? But for some reason, it doesn't feel at all awkward. I thought it was awkward. I felt Hajime's presence as I arrived at the well. I threw a bucket in and grabbed onto the rope. I put all my weight into pulling the rope. I felt something from behind my back. Hajime had also grabbed the rope from behind me. Hajime? I silently pulled the rope. The heavy water bucket came up smoothly. Uh, um... Don't worry about me. Even though he told me that, he wrapped himself around me. Ooh, I like this, the strong, silent type. Any girl would feel a little worried at that. Uh, someone might get the wrong idea. It's not embarrassing at all. Um... If one of the soldiers sees us, they might get the wrong idea. What do you mean? He doesn't even have a romantic thought in his head. I took the bucket and tossed it into the well one more time. Do you need any more? Y yes Hajime quickly stood next to me. After thinking about it, my heart began to pound vigorously. I was worried Hajime might notice my increased heart rate as I pulled the bucket up. You're really strong. The bucket's full already. I am a man after all. <laughs> You're looking and blushing. Oh, Hajime looks really cute when he blushes. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get him to so soon. He gave a short answer, but his cheeks looked a little rosy. I was happy being so close to him and noticing the small changes in his face. I wonder why. I was a little doubtful and tilted my head. I looked up at Hajime's face. We finished getting the water and Hajime looked down at me. Our eyes met. You helped me a lot, Hajime. Thank you so much. Don't worry about it. Giving short replies might have been one of his characteristics. Still, I felt very distant from him. If we're going to live together, I want to get along with him as best I can. Thinking that, I tried talking to Hajime. It was hard getting water when I was at my old house as well. I see. Well, I expected that kind of reply. I was a little sad that he answered with just a simple reply, but... Feel free to rely on me anytime. Huh? I looked up after hearing his unexpected words. What is it? N nothing Maybe he followed me so he could help me out. After thinking about how modest and kind Hajime was, my chest became noisy again. Did I say something strange? I quickly shook my head and stared deeply at Hajime's face. I do a lot of staring here. Hajime silently looked back at me, and it looked like he smiled, just a bit. I felt like I knew him a little better. Later on that day, I was asked to buy some ingredients for dinner and went out into town. Um, I guess this is all the stuff I need. I checked that I had everything. I stopped walking as I saw a light rushing through the sky. Was that lightning? I looked up and saw the clouds spreading. The golden flashes of light came down. A few seconds later, I heard a thunderous sound shake the earth. I have to get home quickly. However, too late, huh? Pshh! It started raining before I could get back to the base. The heavy rain fell onto Kyoto. I need to find shelter from the rain. I protected the food from the rain. I found something to stand under and waited. It looks like light rain. I'm sure it'll pass soon. I closed my eyes and listened to the intense rain and violent thunder. Didn't I just say it was light? I started thinking about Hajime. Wait, why am I thinking about Hajime? I thought it was strange, and everything became dark before my eyes. Oh, there you are. Huh? Hajime? What is it? 
Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. You just came out of nowhere. Speak of the devil, and the devil shall appear. I see. He closed his umbrella and came under the narrow overhanging with me. Why did he close his umbrella? Shouldn't he walk me home with it? I was so surprised. I was just thinking about Hajime, too. I came to get you, but why don't we wait until the rain stops a little? Oh, well, look at him all wet, too. He looks so cute in this picture. That's a good picture of him, although he looks younger. Even with an umbrella, we'll get wet in this heavy rain. Is he being considerate of me? Hajime really is a nice person. Thinking that, my cheeks started to rise up. It looked like I was jealous or something. Embarrassed, I put my hand over my mouth. Why would it look like I was jealous? That doesn't make any sense. Oh. It looks like Hajime realized something. Sorry for not realizing. Before I could ask him what, he took out a hand towel from his chest pocket. He wiped the raindrops falling down my face. Huh? You're so wet. He looked like he was trying to dry my body. I was embarrassed. He'd go that far for me? It's okay. You don't have to do this. How come? Well, I feel bad for you. Oh, I see. And with the short answers, he a few words. He stopped, and I touched my chest in relief. I want to do it, so please don't worry about me. He, he doesn't get it. Hajime started wiping my body again. I became a little shy. He took my wet hand and carefully wiped it. Aww, this is so sweet. He shook the sleeves of my kimono gracefully as well. I can't believe I'm letting a man do this to me. I should have been more forward with him when I told him to stop. But you could try again. But you're enjoying this, aren't you? I couldn't refuse Hajime's kindness. I didn't care what the reason was. I was glad he was touching my body. Does it tickle? Uh, I'm fine. He moved with his towel onto my neck. It continued downwards and started going toward my chest. Does he know what he's doing here? Eek! You don't have to wipe me here. I'm not going to say you pervert. You, you don't have to wipe me here. I panicked and screamed. Hajime was taken aback and his face turned red. Uh, I'm so sorry. Even if it was raining, we were near a busy street. If someone saw us, rumors would spread overnight about the Shinsengumi. I'm sorry about that. I heard Hajime apologize in shame. His voice could calm anyone down. I took a deep breath and looked up at him. I'm really, truly sorry. Even his neck was red as he apologized again with his fleeting voice. N no I think I went a little overboard too. I'm over it. Let's just forget about it. Okay. The awkward mood continued. I wanted the rain to end soon. Ugh, even here. Huh? Stand still for a moment. Hajime wiped my lower lip with his finger, and it became wet with rainwater. Huh? What's wrong? He may not have thought that it was a strange place to touch, but... The feeling of him touching my lips lingered. I couldn't help but think about it. <gasps> yeah, so he's a little bit clueless, huh? But it's so cute! Oh, I hope it's not going to be too slow, but it's so cute already! Alright, chapter 3 will be please. I'm going to go ahead and move on to that real quick. I want to see if I can read all this in one night or not. Yeah, so there's not going to be much in the way of intros and outros. I'm just going to go through this so I can get it done. I really want to hear his whole story. Alright, I hope to see you in the next video. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.